After that, I declared the in-flight emergency, and we fought to get the aircraft into Stapleton. You didn't observe the UFO again after that? No, thank God. We listened to both of them. What do you think? Their stories have understandable differences in interpretation, but they're both saying the same thing, both describing the same experience. If it was a put-on, it was well rehearsed. Well, I'm uh, not much of an artist, Major, but I think it's close. Did you get ads yet? No, sir, not yet. With our known state-of-the-art, Captain, would you say that something like this could fly? No way, Major, but it did. Okay, this is as good as I can do. I think it's close. Well, it's like that Chinese fellow said, Major. Picture's worth 10,000 words. Pure delight. What was? Full night's sleep. Only because Colotex research was closed last night. Just let me enjoy it, Major. It might not happen again. Yes, he's right here. It's for you, Major. Telephone call. I'll have it transferred to the house phone. You can get it right over there. Thank you. Catlin. Oh, call me lucky. I found you. Libby? <sighs> Who'd you think it was? Mary Tyler Moore? Always that possibility. Only at the USO for you people. All right, pal. You called us. You've got an assignment. Yeah, and we're on it. Tell me, is our contract with Colatex Research still good? Mm, let's see. Yep. And as soon as you finish there, since you're in the neighborhood, take a run over to Medicine Bow, Wyoming. Why do we want to go to Medicine Bow, Wyoming? A politician type out there says he was nearly barbecued by a UFO. He's already saying the Air Force is covering up. Naturally. We spend just about all of our time covering up. Yeah, on a cold night in bed. Anyway, his name's Schaffner. Gus Schaffner. And you can find him at City Hall. Okay. We'll get over there as soon as we can. Make it sooner. He's already called here three times. That's not so bad. In the last 30 minutes. Bye-bye, Major. What was that all about? Harry, you should be used to doing two things at once by now. I am, sir. I am. My old first sergeant used to say a juggler will always enjoy himself in the Air Force. And you juggle? I enjoy the Air Force. What do you have besides these drawings? Weather reports, in-flight tape data, navigation fixes with radio and radar, and interior photos of the aircraft. That piece of metal go with all this paper? Starboard window blew out. This is a piece of the frame. Huh. Is there a picture of the damaged window area? Mm -hmm. In spite of the incident, possible structural failure? We hoped you could tell us. What about the passengers? All interviewed by the Transportation Safety Board. Flight attendants, stewardesses? One of them still in a coma. The rest of the crew story tallies with the pilot and co-pilot. Okay. When you get back from medicine, Bo, maybe I'll have something. Uh, maybe. Five letter word with the big meaning. <laughs> How many miles from medicine, Bo, Major? About 175. You know, I was thinking, we're both members of the U.S. Air Force. I bet we log more miles on the ground than we ever do in the air. That's our man over there for the market. Yes, my friends and neighbors, I am going to tour the country so that all can see. And I will not stop, I won't stop, until the government of the United States of America perks up and pays attention to us. And now, we all got concerns. This is only one of those concerns. But where are they when spaceships, flying saucers, attack innocent folks? Where are they when they're needed for anything? 
Now this right here, this is evidence. Evidence. And we are still ignored. Ignored completely. Well, believe you me, you put Gus Schaffner in office, and I will use that power that you give me. I will use it to get Uncle Sam out of his soft chair and interested in us. And let's have some concern when something like this happens. Concern for the little folks like us? Yeah. Welcome, soldiers. You're from around here? No, sir, we're not. Oh, you're just passing through? Project Blue Book. You called about a UFO sighting. A sighting? It sighted me long before I sighted it. It attacked me, pure and simple. Sneak attacked. You want proof? I got it burned to a crisp. We go someplace and talk about this, sir? We can talk about it right here. All these folks know what happened. I was zapped by that saucer is what happened. Now you can see for yourself what they did. Look at that paint. Burned to a crisp. We'd like to talk it over with you, Mr. Shafter, but not while you're campaigning. Well, sure, sure. I want to talk to you, too. Now, I'll let you all know about this. This whole country's going to know the truth. You can count on that. And where do we start? How about showing us the area where you first saw it? Fine, get aboard. What are you doing? It's a paint sample. Just routine. Oh, yeah? What kind of routine? It may help prove what you say happened. It happened, all right. It won't do you no good to say it didn't. Besides, I have a witness to testify it was a fact. Where is your witness? We'll stop by and pick him up on the way out. You can hear it from both of us. Shaffner. Come on, boy, let's take a ride. I got some military experts here to check out what we saw. Okay. This is the exact spot. Right here's where it all happened. Whew. Well, we're just plain lucky it didn't fry us both, right, Danny? Yes, sir. You can see, it's quite a fire. Mm. Suppose we start at the beginning. Let's have more samples, sir? Yes, sir. Mm. Why don't you and I take a walk up here? Well, the Major here wants to hear the story, don't you? I'll talk with you, Mr. Schaffner. Sergeant Pitts will talk with him. Oh, well, all right. That's the way you do it? All right, sir from the beginning. <laughs> 